morning and welcome to the Grand Lake Farmers Market where I will be introducing you to some of the local vendors that provide fresh fruits and vegetables and local meats and poultries. Okay, so um, you were telling me about where your farm is from and how long does it take you to get here every morning? It's uh, 2 and 15 minutes, 2 hours and 15 two minutes. Hours. Okay. Wow, that's a long drive for you. Yeah. But it's, it's well worth it because I know you have usual lines around the corner to get your vegetables. Yes, uh, I'm very lucky that uh, my, the customer for my uh, my produce. I've been here since um, this market start. I was one of the first organic growers. What year market. was that? Um, I remember exactly, but it was uh, this, this year. It's going to be eight years. Wow, it's a great long time. Yes. <laughs> So tell me about, um, I, I've bought your vegetables, so I know how wonderful they taste. And tell me, what do you put in the soil that makes the vegetables well, so wonderful? Well, uh, we use uh, all organic uh, nutrients only, uh, but uh, mainly we do a lot of compost and uh, cover crops. That's what it uh, makes. Uh, what do you mean by cover crops? Cover crops is uh, okay. all the legumes of family, uh, like uh, fava beans, okay. bell beans, beige and all kind of the uh, legumes uh, family. They uh, fix uh, nutrients in the, in the soil. So we can, uh, this can up and, uh, when it's flowering, and uh, we can uh, get uh, up to 150 pounds of uh, nutrients per, per acre. Wow, uh, that is amazing. So tell me what is your biggest seller? I took, I took some pictures of your produce, and what do you sell the most of? What sells out first? I know your eggs. I have never been here early enough to see your eggs. Okay. <laughs> well, um, it's pretty much a steady uh, everything, but the, one of the crops that we sell uh, all year round is uh, the beets, okay, uh, carrots, uh, car, some of those common things uh, is all year round, uh -huh. and the salads. And, and we're coming up on spring, so what's going to be the next uh, vegetable produce for you that coming out? It's coming um, mainly the uh, the peas, uh, sugar star peas, English peas, fava beans, and then spring onion, spring garlic, oh, yeah. all okay. those things. And it's uh, all years uh, we have different crops that come in, uh, depending on the season. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Senor Ledesma. Thank you. <laughs> So here we have um, one of the regulars here at the farmer's market at Grand Lake, and he has something to say about Ledesma eggs. They're the best in the market. They're just, uh, they, they're like grass-fed or vegetable-fed, and, and you can, they're bright. The, the yolks are like uh, bright yellow and, and uh, or sort of orangish, actually, and they taste amazing. So, What's your favorite thing to make with the, the Ledesma eggs? Um, I just like cook them for, for lunch or something like that. Or sometimes we'll make uh, like a frittata or something, but they just taste really, they just taste amazing. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Take care. Okay, we're here with the head chef of the Bolani uh, Afghan food here at the farmer's market in Grand Lake. And he's going to tell us a little bit about some of the products inside. Uh, uh, we have uh, four kinds of bread. It's a small thin flat bread called Bolani. That's the Bolani, that's the name of the product. There is four kinds of them, pumpkin, potato, lentil, and spinach. It's always baked, never fries or store fries. All vegan, low fat, low carb, low calories, wow. low sodium, really healthy and delicious. And if you warm up this bread, it's 10 times better. Because in Afghanistan, it's like street food. They cook it right away, and they serve it right away. And uh, when you warm up this bread, it's getting more soft and crispy. So crispy. it's, yeah. Crispy's crispy. good. Crispy is really good. <laughs> and we have... Um, so what is your best sellers on the condiments? We have, uh, we have 10 kind of uh, spreads here. We have the sweet jalapeno, uh, sweet sour carrot with uh, yogurt cheese, cilantro pesto, hummuses, eggplant, tomato pesto. Our best seller is, the best combination that I like is the garlic mint cheese with the handmade yogurt. We are putting the yogurt in a cheese sack. Okay. All the water is drained, wow. garlic and mint on it. That's our best sauce. And cilantro pesto with sweet jalapeno, that's the life changer. That's usually I tell the people, change your life. <laughs> yeah, so those are the best. And I, I love lentil curry with hummus. That's, uh, that's I like, the lentil curry with hummus. I love for them, so it's really good. And um, our uh, sunrise tomato hummus is really good. It's oil-free, fat-free. 
It's really good. They make small eggplant pesto, roasted tomato pesto, fresh basil. Wow, uh, wow. So all, all the product is amazing. Lots of selection. Lots of selection. Yeah. And the people love it. The good things about this product, the people love it and they buy it. And uh, we are planning to go nationwide, and that's our hope. So yeah, we fantastic. Have, we have we have everything. We have all the product, and we have the our cousins. It's family business, bunch of cousins. So we have the army with us. Yes, we will yes. go the nationwide. <laughs> fantastic. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi, we're here at the Donna's Tamales food vendor, and we're going to be speaking with one of the chefs. So tell me about the tamales. Um, how are they made and where are they made? Well, they're made in San Rafael. They're not made by me. Okay. They're made by these uh, five girls in the kitchen. Okay. I wouldn't want to make them. There's too much of a too much of an ordeal to make the tamale. How many hours does it take to make one tamale? Uh, they only make. I couldn't tell you how long it would take to make one. When they do it, they make quite a few at one time. So I would say it wouldn't take very long to make one, but. It takes hours to make the amount that they make. Okay. And do you usually sell out your tamales? On a, on a good day, yeah. I sell out. Yeah. Almost every almost every market, if it's nice out, I sell out the tamales. Uh -huh. And what's your biggest seller? Um, the cheese chili corn tamale or the smoked cheddar tamale. And recently I discovered um, an item that's always been on the menu but has been at the bottom. Pupusas. So tell me about those. <laughs> those are Salvadorian. Okay. And they're made with this pureed... Uh, Pureed beans and cheese and a round tortilla. Delicious. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and also your fresh salsa is amazing. I'm gonna get a pictures of those. So tell me about who makes that and. Well, this, the same girls make the, all the fresh salsa. Everything is made fresh. So I mean, it's maybe two days old when I bring it here. They just make it. So that's the difference in getting it here and getting it at the grocery store. Is when you get it yeah. here, it's oh, it's it's the freshest. Yeah. So how long have you been coming here and being the vendor for Donna's Tamales? Well, I've been. I've been working for her for about five or six years, but I've been doing the markets for about ten years. There's nothing else like the market. Yeah. It's a good place to work. Yeah, you meet so many interesting people. Of course. Yeah.